कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉक स्टार के फूफे की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जनमे वी गॉट क्रेज अबाउट लीक्स गोइंग अराउंड राइट नाउ इन द कम्युनिटी एंड आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट दिस इन द वीडियो राइट बिकॉज़ अपेरेंटली व्हाट वी आर नाउ हियरिंग इज दैट जीटीएस 6 इज गेटिंग डिलेड या लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू लव योर मामा एंड यू डोंट वांट द गेम गेटिंग डिलेड डिसलाइक द वीडियो if you want it getting delayed i want to know where you guys at but check this out right so this rumor is now going crazy if you do use twitter i would definitely love to have you there but apparently this rumor is coming from billy he claims that this information is coming from multiple devs across two studios and the rumor here is that gta 6 has been internally delayed by rockstar games uh, i got a video that i also want to share with you guys so wait for that but apparently what we're getting is that even drama alert reported that gta 6 is delayed until 2026 oh, rumors are surfacing but this is not confirmed do you believe them i want to know where you guys at with it right because yeah i mean whoa right shocker shocker gta 6 can get delayed and ever since that rumor came out Suckers are looking like this right now, okay? And there's another situation that happened too. Now, of course, everybody's beefing. Like suckers love to beef. Suckers love to beef. Okay, I guess suckers gonna be suckers. Okay, but check this out. So apparently, this band did not miss out on being featured in what will be the biggest entertainment product of all time. Is what the homie detective said. Because what we're now hearing is that this news is coming from Marty. I believe they are the. the band in this situation i could be wrong though but apparently a band is now claiming that rockstar games offered them 7500 us dollars to use their song in gta 6 with no future royalties and they responded by saying and i quote gta 5 made 8.6 billion go and yourself bro <laughs> like this thing is way crazy and everybody's like out there are saying that hey it's a missed opportunity to put your name out there more yeah i do agree but a lot of people are also saying that man like making 8.6 billion and only paying 7500 basically people are saying that's not enough money I i'm just sitting here i'm like can a brother get two pennies or something like that man but i get it though like this sec has made 8.6 billion with gta 5 and they, they prob this sec has probably made even more don't tell this band about the shark cards business the gta plus business that rockstar got going on okay but let's actually get get down to the video to when like this sec is crazy Suck us crazy, man! But shout out to the homies over at w White Culture Gaming. Roll it. Sony have reportedly locked down advertising rights for GTA 6, with various reports and insider comments describing a second trailer for the game is going to be at this year's Game Awards, um, and now that it will feature a PlayStation. Uh, cap, cap. I, I don't think so. I, I mean, anything is possible, but I, I can see them dropping a GTA Plus Plus trailer for GTA 6 at Game Awards. Bruh. To be honest, though, and GTA 6 trailer too probably gonna be dropped on their own. But okay, let's let's get to it. Let's get logo. to it. Logo, and then only PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Pro at the end of the trailer. Um, the idea is that obviously the game's still gonna be on Xbox, uh, but Sony want to double down on the idea of the association between GTA and PlayStation, um, and try and get the idea of the PS5 Pro alongside GTA 6. Try and get that out there as much as possible, um, because uh, the PlayStation 5 Pro is expected to be unveiled imminently. It might be across September. There's rumors of a state of play, um, or whatever. And then Sony would like to get on top of production as much as possible going into GTA 6's yeah. release next. Yeah, which is sure to dominate everything. Uh, that's going to be like some weird uh, tornado gust. Uh, and now, right now, suckers are also saying that the game is still going to be 30 FPS on PS5 Pro. If that happens, if that happens, I mean, I'm not going to do anything. But yeah. like, can a brother get it at 60 FPS? Yeah, the rumors are going crazy right now. And the tech experts over at Digital Foundry. They said that back when we had the PS5 Pro spec leaks. They, they said that if the game runs at 30 FPS on PS5, it's still gonna run at 30 FPS on the PS5 Pro. I really hope that's not true. But would you rather 30 FPS or 60 FPS? Like, let me know in the comments. But oh, wait for it. <laughs> that just blows everything sideways, and all that's left is a PlayStation <laughs> 5 Pro and GTA Six in the middle. <laughs> uh, but I guess we'll see. Um, but however, I, I wanted to get the, the heart of this, and if you sift through all the reports that, because there's a lot of write-ups on this, the idea of Sony uh, doubling down on the market for GTA, um, it does come. The source for it um, is uh, Colt Mag Eastwood uh, speaking on his XNC podcast. Uh, Colt Eastwood isn't um, doesn't you know, he has quite a, um, a spotty reputation when it comes to leak accuracy. Um, however, these comments do come after uh, various developers are reportedly not choosing. to appear on Xbox anyway uh, due to low market share with Forbes reporting that the PlayStation 5 is outselling Xbox 5 to 1 at the start of 2024 Um, there's a lot to this, and I feel like this is just indicative of the, the wider perception of Xbox, especially up against PlayStation, um, and how. Well, I'll, I'll throw a few more. Uh, to my Xbox homies, don't worry, it's still coming on Xbox. Okay, like don't worry, man, don't worry. 
All right. What we're hearing is that like it's gonna get the PlayStation is getting the marketing rights, and it's a rumor so far. But I can see that happen, right? I can see that come true because Rockstar do have a track record with working with PlayStation. I mean, a lot of companies work with PlayStation and Xbox as well. But generally speaking, like Microsoft has to buy studios, and PlayStation uh, Microsoft usually buys studios, and PlayStation usually pay them for their name to be on it sometimes get like some exclusive content not necessarily buy the entire studio but like you know buy the rights kinda right so in this case what we're hearing is that if true well uh, you know on the trailer in the trailers on the gameplay it's most likely gonna say play is best on ps5 pro capture on ps5 pro Th things of those nature, but it's gonna be on Xbox as well, so you don't need to panic or anything like that. More things in here, because I've got a, a lot of different developer stories here. Um, but an ongoing thing is everything that's happening with Black Myth Wukong, um, that, which is an yeah, ongoing yeah, conversation yeah. around an Xbox edition existing at all, um, with a rumored PlayStation 5 exclusivity contract, somewhat backed by Microsoft themselves, saying that the lack of an Xbox version is, according to them, not due to platform limitations. Um, yeah, we'll get back to this thing in a, in, a, in a minute, but what do you think about the, the general state of... Um, just Sony being like, we'll have it. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Like you said, the PlayStation 5 Pro is about to be announced. Knowing our look, it'll be by the time we finish recording this podcast <laughs> and hit upload. We've summoned it. We certainly have. Um, and they Yeah, it, we're hearing that PS5 Pro will be announced in coming days. And let's let's think about this for a second, right? Like, let's just say like this deal is true, right? Like everybody gather on, gather on, gather on, okay, gather on, stud muffins. We gotta talk about this one immediately, okay? Because what if it turns out that the exclusivity that PlayStation is getting is like, hey, get an early access to GTA Plus <laughs> subscription for GTA 6. What are you gonna do, okay? Like, if, if it turns out the exclusivity is like G GTA Plus access to uh, early access to uh, GTA Plus uh, for GTA 6 on the PS5 Pro or the PlayStation, man, like, bruh, like, I would be, I would be looking like this, bro. Like, I, I feel like that everybody would be, would be, like, beefing after that, man. Oh, man, oh, hell yeah, bro. Like, I, I know that the Xbox Andy is gonna be laughing at that. They're gonna be clowning on the Sony ponies. Sony ponies gonna be crying. Sony ponies gonna go crazy. They're gonna be, like, trying to chalk, choke slam the Xbox Andes and all that. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be crazy. Of course, like, they're likely not gonna do something like that. I, I guess the worst case scenario, we might see maybe like GTS X a couple days early on PS5, but even that, I don't see that happening. That's like worst case scenario, right? Realistically, it's just gonna be like, hey, plays best on PS5, uh, captured on PS5 Pro, captured on PS5, the sort of things like that, the, th those sort of things on the trailers and the gameplays, and that's about it. Uh, best case scenario, I guess, uh, for PlayStation, it would be that there's some sort of like exclusive content and what that would be, nobody knows. Maybe it's gonna be like an extra mission or two, maybe like extra side mission. P probably not like anything related to main mission, right? Like main mission r revolves around the story, so they're not gonna cut some main story mission and have on PlayStation and not on Xbox. I, I don't see that happening, but perhaps like a couple of extra side missions that don't necessarily matter be on PlayStation as like an exclusive content or perhaps like an avatar this and that maybe like 500 GTA 500,000 GTA dollars on PlayStation Bruh. as an exclusive bonus I mean yeah like whatever right like nobody gives a damn about it I mean yeah like yeah, extra bonus okay whatever but like can a brother get some GTA 6 money glitches in this game because I, I tell you man this game is gonna go crazy with shark cards bro like this game is gonna drop the earn rate for uh, the missions in the game <laughs> and these seconds gonna be promoting the GTA shark cards 2.0 man and if these seconds do that I demand as a brown man I demand GTA 6 to have money glitches day one unpatched money glitches seconds deserve a man like I swear to god bro like if uh, I feel like that this game is gonna go crazy with the shark cards people deserve better man gamers gamers deserve better I, I hope the earn rate is good, man, because uh, if they make it painfully slow like GTA 5, then that would be, you know, that would, that, that would start WW5 in the community for sure. But uh oh, wait for it. Need games to sell it. And I, I, I want them to reveal first party games, but maybe they're just not ready. You know, they do have Wolverine coming next year that no doubt they will push heavily as being a PS5 Pro title. But getting at least some kind of marketing deal for GTA 6, I mean, that is incredibly coveted. We know how much... We did hear rumors that apparently Wolverine is going to be coming out uh, by the end of 2026 or something like that, right? Yeah, and, and by the end of 2025 was the Venom DLC for Spider-Man, something like that. Maybe like a spin-off game like Miles Morales. We'll see what happens. Um, 
Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if World Ring comes out next year. I, I hope it does. I hope it does, but... Money these third-party games can make for platform holders because they take a cut of sales off their platform. And just associating what is undoubtedly going to be the biggest game of next year with PlayStation oh, yeah. is, is a move that Sony has yeah, repeated for the past 10 years or so now. I mean, when they became the market leader again with the PlayStation 4, they immediately got the rights to Call of Duty marketing until uh, Microsoft literally bought Activision to get them back, right? So that yeah. really succeeded for them to the point where they were fighting over um, uh, Microsoft getting yeah. the, the rights yeah, to yeah. Call of Duty in court because they just make so much money off these big games when they're being sold on their platforms. Like you said, if they're out selling things five to one, that's a lot of copies that you can get for your console. And in this case, it's uh, it's maybe sales of the PlayStation 5 Pro because you're highlighting that as a key game. The reason, even though I'm not, you know, I don't really know the leaker in question, the reason why I'm inclined to believe that they're even trying this is because they kind of did it with GTA 5 um, Remastered. Like, if you remember when the PlayStation 5 was announced, one of the big games was the was GTA 5 coming to PlayStation 5 and it was an all new version <laughs> and they managed to lock that down. I know that's a kind of different um, beast because that's a game that's already been out for years and years yeah, but it's yeah, clear yeah. that there's some kind of relationship there so it wouldn't shock me necessarily. It wouldn't even shock me with Rockstar either because you know these are companies and they are going to go to the company that has the biggest market share that they can sell the most copies on and i don't yo holy look at gta 5 right now man is this like ps3 gameplay or ps4 <laughs> or like ps now nah, this is definitely not pc gameplay but sheesh man like if you see the original ps3 version of this game oh man that was so bad but for the time it was actually really really good man you, you know what I mean? And, and they, of course, improved the game with, like, next-gen versions on PS4. And, of course, now that we have the PS5 version. And, and of course, the PC version is the superior, the, the best version that there is. But still, this game is 10 years, a decade old. 11 years. Uh, yeah, right? Came out in 2013. Uh, Shout-out to the homie Hamlet for subscribing. Gang, gang, brother. Welcome on in, brother. If you guys do use Instagram, I'd definitely love to have you there as well. Link always in the, the pinned comment. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. I don't man. think in this case, kind of like with um, Activision and Call of Duty back in the day, I don't think it's maybe even a case of who bets the biggest, though that is probably mm. important still, but yeah, yeah. who's going to get the message out to the most amount of people, and in this case, it would be PlayStation. Yeah, well, that, that's like, that's that's the fascinating part to me is that it just speaks to this wider uh, conversation on the viability of Xbox. And if you are a developer, you're a studio looking at, okay, where are my chips best placed? And um, it just seems to be with PlayStation. Like, yes, Microsoft have a lot of money to spend. There was the $70 billion deal of locking down Call of Duty. Um, but it's just, it just hasn't resulted in tipping the scales that much on the- Yeah, like when you think about this for a second, like that's a really good point, right? Because Microsoft does have like all the money in the world, okay? They're making more money than God, metaphorically speaking, of course, <laughs> like duh. But, but uh, God don't need that money, like duh. But metaphorically speaking, they're making a lot more, they're making more money than God. So the point here is that, yeah, like Rockstar, these tickets could have went towards Microsoft and asked for more money and Microsoft would be like, oh hell yeah, man, put- Plays, plays, play, uh, pay, uh, plays best on Xbox, uh, Xbox, right? And, and we got a deal and a half, right? You release a month early on Xbox, oh hell yeah, right? Oh hell yeah. And, and I feel like that behind the scenes, maybe Microsoft would have tried. Oh man, you think that they would not have after buying <laughs> Activision for $70 billion and having Bethesda for seven some billion, right? Oh, absolutely, they would have tried. Ultimately, if this rumor turns out to be true, I believe the only reason Rockstar went towards PlayStation is because back in the days, multiple factors for sure, but one of the biggest things is that back in the days, GTA 3, when Sikas were making GTA 3 at Rockstar Games, they went after Microsoft, Spider-Man, Insomniac, right? They, they went after Microsoft and they were like, hey man, we want to sign the deal with Microsoft. But Microsoft, those Sikas ultimately denied Insomniac, Spider-Man. Yo, Spider-Man could have been a, uh, could have been an Xbox exclusive. Yeah, right? Crazy when you think about it. Maybe in an alternate reality, it very well is. Very well could be, right? But ultimately, they denied, Sony accepted the deal, so now it's still to this day, so, uh, Spider-Man is PlayStation exclusive, so that happened. GTA 3 was uh, also accepted by Sony, but not necessarily by Microsoft. So I feel like that they have that history, right? So they have good relation with Sony, so I think that's one of the main thing. And secondly, Rockstar do know, I mean, take two, these suckers know that, man, like, they're gonna, at the end of the day, they're gonna make a ton of money. They just need more eyeballs, and that's said. So, how they're gonna get more eyeballs? By promoting PlayStation, and PlayStation promoting GTA. Because, uh, you know, the sales uh, just are humongous. And surely, we're hearing that PS5 Pro is gonna release, and the game is not coming out on PC, at least not coming out day one. So, from a business standpoint, I guess it makes sense, because PlayStation got more people having the console, 
than Microsoft having uh, uh, more people on an Xbox. Of course, like Xbox has still got millions of people, don't get me wrong, but it's not coming out on Xbox One. It's coming out on Series X, Series S, uh, PS5, and PS5 Pro. So yeah, PlayStation clearly the winner in terms of having the most amount of people. So I guess that's the, the thing because money wise, yeah, Microsoft got more money than Sony. So I think that's the, the main thing. And, and yeah, make no mistake, I don't see GTA 6 being like exclusive on PlayStation and an Xbox at all because we're talking about GTA being the the biggest game that there is after Fortnite maybe it's bigger than Fortnite even but Fortnite is free so you know what I mean right GTA is gonna be a full price title and looking at GTA 5 it did 200 million sales in the last decade that is crazy man when you think about it so GTA 6 does have the potential to do similar numbers if not bigger and better and, and make no mistake in the first week alone gta 6 is gonna shatter all records because you got 200 million people that have played gta 5 that knows what the series is all about that have liked the game okay and, and they're gonna be like yeah man let, let me you know they, they had positive experience if they had positive experience with gta 5 they're gonna be like oh hell yeah let me buy it day one let me buy a weekend one weekend one oh let me buy it month one right so you're gonna see a lot of people buy very quickly uh if i'm not mistaken gta 5 did a billion dollars within like three days of launch i can see them doing billion dollars day one maybe even more than that week one yeah god knows how much it's gonna do right so in other words it's gonna sell like hotcakes and in, in the first weekend alone it's gonna break all records and in the long run has the potential of having 200 plus million i want to know your thoughts on this uh this leak as well this rumor of course it's a rumor but even if this rumor turns out to be fake i mean let's be real though like this idea is gonna be lurking behind uh, everybody's mind that it can get delayed because of what we're talking rockstar right like this like is always delayed games i want to know your thoughts check out this video on the screen we recently had high leaks gta 5 gameplay leaks check out this video on the screen it, it was actually some real good news check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left some crazy dr disrespect drama man